Sheikh Hasina Waste, Ne Sheikh Hasina, Slash Action Slash Sheikh Hasina, Bengali, Kama Romanized, Sheikh Hasina, Eksina, born September 28, 1947 1, is a Bangladeshi politician and stateswoman who has served as the Prime Minister of Bangladesh since January 2009. Hasina is the daughter of the founding father and first president of Bangladesh, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. 2. She previously served as Prime Minister from June 1996 to July 2001. She is the longest serving Prime Minister in the history of Bangladesh, having served for a combined total of over 18 years. As of December 6, 2022, she is the world's longest serving female head of government in history. 345. Under Husina's premiership, Bangladesh has experienced rapid social and economic progress. The country's GDP grew by over 6% for a decade until the pandemic while overall GDP and GDP per capita has more than trebled, now higher than that of India and Pakistan. Exports grew by over 80% largely fueled by the ready-made garment industry. Women have been empowered with an increased share in the workforce while the debt-GDP ratio has remained below 40%. Poverty and infant mortality has reduced while literacy, life expectancy and food production has increased. In 2021, the UNGA approved Bangladesh's graduation from LDC to a lower middle-income developing country. Bangladesh's social and economic indicators are amongst the best in South Asia. 6789. However, under her tenure as Prime Minister, Bangladesh has experienced democratic backsliding. Human Rights Watch documented widespread enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings under her government. Many politicians and journalists have been systematically and judicially punished for challenging her views. 1011 Reporters Without Borders in 2021 characterized Sheikh Hasina as a predator for curbing press freedom in Bangladesh since 2014. 12. In 2014, she was re-elected for a third term in an election that was boycotted by the BNP and criticized by international observers. She won her fourth term in 2018 following an election marred with violence and criticized by the opposition as being rigged. Sheikh Hasina has been ranked as one of the most powerful women in the world in several rankings, including Forbes magazine. 13 14 15 16 Contents 1 Early Life 2 Early Political Career 2.1 Movement Against Military Rule, 1981-1991 2.2 Leader of the Opposition, 1991 to 1996. Three Prime Minister of Bangladesh, 1996 to 2001. 4 2001 to 2008 Opposition Period. 4.1 Assassination Attempt, 2004. 4.2 Detention during Military Intervention, 2006 to 2008. Five Prime Minister of Bangladesh. 2009 present 5.1 second premiership 2009 to 2014 5.2 third premiership 2014 to 2019 5.3 fourth premiership 2019 present 6 controversies 7 personal life 8 writings 9 honors 10 in popular culture 11 references 12 Further Reading 13 External Links Early Life See also, Sheikh Waste Family and August 15, 1975 Bangladesh Coup d'etat Hasina was born on September 28, 1947 to the Bengali Muslim Sheikh family of Tunjapura in East Bengal. Citation Needed, Her Father Was Sheikh Mujibur Rahman the founding father and the first president of Bangladesh. She has Iraqi Arab ancestry through her paternal grandfather Sheikh Lotfur Rahman, who was a direct descendant of 15th century Muslim preacher Sheikh Awal of Baghdad. 17. Her mother was Sheikh Fazila Tunnazam Ujib. 18. She has said in many interviews that she had grown up in fear due to threats to her politically prominent father, 
who was assassinated in 1975. 19. She married physicist M. A. Ways My A, who was chosen for her by her father, in 1968. 20. During the peak of violence during the 1970 Pakistani general election, as well as her father's arrest, she had lived in refuge with her grandmother. 19. She was active in the student politics of the University of Dhaka. 21. Hasina was not in Bangladesh when her father, and most of her family, were assassinated on August 15, 1975 during a military coup d'état by renegade officers of the Bangladesh Army. Citation needed. She was in West Germany with her husband, M. A. Ways My A, who was working as a nuclear physicist. She moved to New Delhi in late 1975, having been granted asylum by India. Her son, Sajib Ways Joy, studied at Indian boarding schools. During her time in India, Hasina was not involved in politics, but became close friends with Suvra Mukherjee, wife of the future Indian President Pranab Mukherjee. 2022 Hasina was barred from returning to Bangladesh until after she was elected to lead the Awami League on February 16, 1981, and arrived home on May 17, 1981. 19. Early Political Career Movement Against Military Rule, 1981-1991 While living in exile in India, Hasina was elected President of the Awami League, AL, in 1981. 23. The AL has been described as a left-of-center party. 24-25-26 Under martial law, Hasina was in and out of detention throughout the 1980s. In 1984, she was put under house arrest in February and again in November. In March 1985, she was put under house arrest for another three months. 27-28 Hasina and the AL participated in the 1986 Bangladeshi general election held under President Hussein Mohammad Urshad. She served as the leader of the parliamentary opposition in 1986-1987. 18. She led an eight-party alliance as opposition against her shad. 29. Hasina's decision to take part in the election had been criticized by her opponents, since the election was held under martial law, and the other main opposition group boycotted the poll. However, her supporters maintained that she used the platform effectively to challenge Urshad's rule. Urshad dissolved the parliament in December 1987 when Husina and her Awami League resigned in an attempt to call for a fresh general election to be held under a neutral government. During November and December in 1987, a mass uprising happened in Dhaka and several people were killed, including Noor Hussain, an Awami League activist and support of Husina. 30. Her party, along with the Bangladesh Nationalist Party BNP, under Khalid Azia, continued to work to restore democratically elected government, which they achieved after a constitutional referendum returning the country to a parliamentary form of government. The consequent parliamentary general election in 1991 was won by the BNP. Citation needed. Leader of the Opposition, 1991-1996 After several years of autocratic rule, Widespread protests and strikes had paralyzed the economy. Government officers refused to follow orders and resigned. Members of the Bangladesh Rifles laid down their weapons instead of firing on protesters and curfew was openly violated. Hasina worked with Khalid Azia in organizing opposition to Urshad. 31. A huge mass protest in December 1990 ousted Urshad from power when he resigned in favor of his vice president. Justice Shahabuddin Ahmed, the Chief Justice of the Bangladesh Supreme Court. The caretaker government, headed by Ahmed, administered a general election for the parliament. The Bangladesh Nationalist Party led by Khalid Azia won a general majority, and Hussein Awami League emerged as the largest opposition party. 32. Of the three constituencies Husina contested, she lost in two and won in one. Accepting defeat, she offered her resignation as the party president but stayed on at the request of party leaders. Citation needed. Politics in Bangladesh took a decisive turn in 1994, 
after a by-election in Magura 2, 33, held after the death of the MP for that constituency, a member of Husina's party. The Awami League had expected to win back the seat, but the BNP candidate won through rigging and manipulation, according to the neutral observer who came to witness the election. 34. Hasina led the Bangladesh Awami League in boycotting the parliament from 1994. 35. Relations between Hasina and Zianos dived after this. Citation needed. Prime Minister of Bangladesh, 1996 to 2001. See also, First Hasina Ministry. Hasina with U.S. President Bill Clinton at the Prime Minister's office in Dhaka, 2000. The Awami League. L, with other opposition parties, demanded that the next general elections be held under a neutral caretaker government, and that provision for caretaker governments to manage elections be incorporated in the constitution. Citation needed, the ruling Bangladesh Nationalist Party, BNP, refused to act on these demands. 36. Opposition parties launched an unprecedented campaign, calling strikes for weeks on end. The government accused them of destroying the economy while the opposition countered that the BNP could resolve the issue by acceding to their demands. In late 1995, the MPs of the AL and other parties resigned en masse from Parliament. Parliament completed its five-year term and the February 1996 general election was held. The election was boycotted by all major parties except the ruling BNP, who won all the seats in the Parliament as a result. Hasina described the election as a farce. 37-38 The new parliament, composed almost entirely of BNP members, amended the constitution to create provisions for a caretaker government, CTG. The June 1996 general election was held under a neutral caretaker government headed by a retired Chief Justice Mohammad Hibbaber Rahman. The AL won 146 seats, a plurality but fell short of a simple majority. Khalid Azia, leader of the BNP who won 104 seats, denounced the results and alleged vote rigging. This was in contrast with the neutral observers who said that the election was free and fair. 39. Hasina served her first term as Prime Minister of Bangladesh from 1996 to 2001. She became the first Bangladeshi Prime Minister since independence to complete an entire five-year term. 18. She signed the 30-year water-sharing treaty with India governing the Ganges. Her administration repealed the Indemnity Act, which granted immunity from prosecution to the killers of Sheikh Mujib, her father and the first president of Bangladesh. Her government opened the telecom industry to the private sector which until then was limited to government-owned companies. In 1999 the government started the New Industrial Policy, NIP, which aimed to strengthen the private sector and encourage growth. 40. Bangladesh joined two multilateral bodies, the Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multisectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation, BIMSTOC, and D8 Organization for Economic Cooperation, D8. The NIP allowed foreign companies to open 100% owned subsidiaries. 40. In the 2001 general election, despite winning 40% of the popular vote, slightly less than BNP's 41%, the AL won just 62 seats in the parliament, while the four-party alliance led by BNP won 234 seats, giving them a two-thirds majority in parliament. Hasina herself ran in three constituencies, 41, and was defeated in a constituency in Ringpur, which included her husband's hometown, but won in two other seats. Hasina and the AL rejected the results, claiming that the election was rigged with the assistance of the president and the caretaker government. The international community was largely satisfied with the elections, and the four-party alliance went on to form a government. 42. 2001-2008, Opposition Period The Awami League MPs were irregular in attending the parliament during the following period. 43, in late 2003, the Awami League started its first major anti-government movement, culminating in the declaration by Party General Secretary Abdul Jalil that the government would fall before April 30, 2004. 
This failed to happen and was seen as a blow to the party and Husina, who had implicitly supported Jalil. Citation needed. Assassination Attempt, 2004 See also, 2004 Dhaka Grenade Attack During her second term as leader of the opposition, political unrest and violence increased. Ips Ola Master died after he was shot in May 2004. This was followed by a grenade attack on 21 August on an Awami League gathering in Dhaka, resulting in the death of 24 party supporters, including Ivy Rahman, party women's secretary. In October 2018, a special court gave verdicts in two cases filed over the incident, the court ruled that it was a well-orchestrated plan, executed through abuse of state power, and all the accused, including BNP senior vice chairman Terry Kraman, in absentia, and former top intelligence officials, were found guilty. The court prescribed various punishments. 44. Shah A.M.S. Kybria, Hussein's former finance minister, was also killed that year, 2004, in a grenade attack in Silet. 45-46. In June 2005, A.B. Immohi Adnch Alduri, the incumbent al-mayor, won an important election in Chittagong, the second largest city in Bangladesh. This election was seen as a showdown between the opposition and the ruling party. 47. Detention during military intervention, 2006-2008 The months preceding the planned January 22, 2007 elections were filled with political unrest and controversy. Citation needed, following the end of Khalid Azia's government in October 2006, there were protests and strikes, during which 40 people were killed in the following month, over uncertainty about who would head the caretaker government. The caretaker government had difficulty bringing all parties to the table. The Al and its allies protested and alleged that the caretaker government favored the BNP. 48. The interim period was marred with violence and strikes. 4950, Presidential Advisor Mukhlasar Rahman Chowdhury negotiated with Hasina and Khalid Azia and brought all the parties to the planned January 22, 2007 parliamentary elections. Later the nomination of Ershad was cancelled by the returning officer of the election commission as Ershad had been convicted on a corruption case. 5152, as a result. The Grand Alliance withdrew its candidates en masse on the last day possible. 53, they demanded that a voter's roll be published. Citation needed. Later in the month, President Ayatuddin Ahmed was compelled to declare a state of emergency. Consequently, Lt. Gen. Moinuddin Ahmed took control of the government. 54, political activity was prohibited. Fakhruddin Ahmed became the chief advisor with the support of the Bangladesh Army. 55-56-57 Hasina went to the United States Embassy on March 14, 2007 along with Qazi Zafarullah and Tarek Ahmed Siddiq. 58, she would fly the next day to the United States accompanied by Tarek Ahmed Siddiq and Abdus Sabhan Golap. 58, she visited her son and daughter who live in the United States. 59, she then moved to the United Kingdom. 60. In April 2007, Hasina was charged with graft and extortion by the military-backed caretaker government during the 2006-2008 political crisis. She was accused of having forced businessman Tajal Islam Farooq to pay bribes in 1998 before his company could build a power plant. Farooq said that he paid Hasina for approving his project. 61. On April 18, 2007, the government barred Husina from returning, stating that she had made provocative statements and that her return could cause disorder. This was described as a temporary measure. The caretaker government had also been trying to get Khalid Azia to leave the country. 62. Husina vowed to return home, and on April 22, 2007, a warrant was issued for her arrest for murder. 6364, describing the case against her as totally false and fake, Hasina said that she wanted to defend herself against the charges in court. On April 23, 2007, the arrest warrant was suspended, 65, and on April 25, 2007, 
the ban on Hasina's entry was dropped. 66. After spending 51 days in the United States and the United Kingdom, on May 7, 2007 Hasina returned to Dhaka, where she was greeted by a crowd of several thousand. She told reporters that the government should not have delayed her return. 67. On July 16, 2007, Hasina was arrested by police at her home and taken before a local court in Dhaka. 68. She was accused of extortion and denied bail, and was held in a building converted into jail on the premises of the National Parliament. The AL said the arrest was politically motivated. 69. On July 17, 2007, the Anti-Corruption Commission sent notices to both Hasina and Kaladizia, instructing them to provide details of their assets within one week. 70. Hasina's son Seiji Blazed was out of the country and said he would try to organize a worldwide protest. These arrests of the political leaders were widely seen as a move by the military-backed interim government to force Hasina and Zia out of the country and into political exile. 71-72, United Kingdom MPs condemned the arrest. 73. On April 11, 2007, the police filed murder charges against Hasina, alleging that she masterminded the killing in October 2006 of four supporters of a rival political party. The four alleged victims were beaten to death during clashes between the AL and rival party activists. 74. Hasina was visiting the United States at the time. 75. On July 30, 2007, the High Court suspended Hussein's extortion trial and ordered her release on bail. 76. On September 2, 2007, an additional case was filed against Hussein by the Anti-Corruption Commission regarding the awarding of a contract for the construction of a power plant in 1997, for which she allegedly took a bribe of 30 million takas and kept the contract from going to the lowest bidder. Six others were also accused of involvement. 77-78, a graft case was filed against Zia on the same day. 77. On January 13, 2008, Hasina was indicted on extortion charges by a special court along with two of her relatives, her sister Sheikh Rihanna and her cousin Sheikh Salim. 79. On 6 February, the High Court stopped the trial ruling that she could not be prosecuted under emergency laws for crimes alleged to have been committed prior to the imposition of the state of emergency. 80. On June 11, 2008, Hasina was released on parole for medical reasons. The next day she flew to the United States to be treated for hearing impairment, eye problems and high blood pressure. 81-82, Said Modisar Ali, her personal physician threatened to sue the caretaker government over negligence regarding Hasina's treatment during her detention. 83. The caretaker government held May oral elections in which AL won 12 out of 13 elections. The government extended her two-month medical parole by one more month. 84. Prime Minister of Bangladesh, 2009-present. Second Premiership, 2009-2014. See also. Second Hasina Ministry. Hasina with British Prime Minister David Cameron at 10 Downing Street, January 2011. On November 6, 2008, Hasina returned to Bangladesh to contest the 2008 general election scheduled for 29 December. 85, she decided to participate in the parliamentary election under the banner of the Grand Alliance with the Jataya Party, led by Hussein Muhammad Ershad as its main partner. On December 11, 2008, Hasina formally announced her party's election manifesto during a news conference, and vowed to build a digital Bangladesh by 2021. 86. Her Awami League and the Grand Alliance, a total of 14 parties, won the 2008 general election with a two-thirds majority, having won 230 out of 299 seats. 87. Khalidazia, leader of the BNP-led coalition, four-party alliance, rejected the results of the election by accusing the chief election commissioner of stage managing the parliamentary election. 88. 
Hasina was sworn into office as Prime Minister for a second term on January 6, 2009. Independent observers declared that the elections were held in a festive and peaceful atmosphere. 89. After being elected Prime Minister, Hasina reneged on her agreement with the Jatiya party to make her Shad, its leader, the president. 90. Hasina removed many of her party's politicians who supported reforms forced by the previous caretaker government. 91. She had to confront a major national crisis in the form of the 2009 Bangladesh Rifles Revolt over a pay dispute, which resulted in 75 deaths, including Bangladesh Army officers. 92-93, some Bangladesh Army officers blamed Hasina for the deaths by not sending in the army earlier. 94, in 2011, the parliament removed the law that required non-party caretaker government hold elections. 95, in 2012, she maintained a hardline stance and refused to allow entry to Rohingya refugees fleeing Myanmar during the 2012 Rakhine State riots. 96. Hasina with Russian President Vladimir Putin at the Kremlin in January 2013. On June 27, 2013, a case against Hasina and 24 other Bangladeshi ministers and security personnel was lodged at the International Criminal Court, ICC, for the alleged violation of human rights. 97. She has been credited internationally for the achievement of some of the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. 98. In 2012 a coup attempt against her by mid-ranking army officers was stopped with the Bangladesh Army being tipped off by an Indian intelligence agency. 99, the Bangladesh Army described the army officers involved as being Islamist extremists. 100. In 2012, she had a falling out with Mohammed Yunus, Nobel laureate and founder of Grameen Bank, following a Norwegian documentary that was critical of Yunus's transferring of money from Grameen Bank to an affiliate organization. Yunus transferred the money back after the documentary aired but it increased scrutiny of the bank by the government and media in Bangladesh. Yunus lost control of his bank following a court verdict. He criticized Hasina and other Bangladeshi politicians. She responded by saying she did not understand why Yunus blamed her when it was a court verdict that removed him from Grameen Bank. 101. During this term, her government led and succeeded in forming the International Crimes Tribunal, to investigate and prosecute suspects involved in the Bangladesh genocide, committed by the Pakistan Army and their local collaborators, Razakars, al Badr and Al-Shams during the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971. 102. Third Premiership, 2014-2019. See also, Third Hasina Ministry. Hasina with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, 2018. Hasina secured a second consecutive term in office with her ruling Awami League and its Grand Alliance allies winning the 2014 general election by a landslide. The Al-led Grand Alliance won 267 seats, surpassing its 2008 poll success, when it secured 263 parliamentary seats. 103, Sheikh Hasina's Awami League has run Bangladesh since 2009 and won 288 seats in this election. 104, one of the leading opposition parties accused it of using stuffed ballot boxes. 103, the election was boycotted by major opposition parties including the BNP. Citation needed. The election was controversial, with reports of violence and an alleged crackdown on the opposition in the run-up to the election. 153 seats, of 300, went uncontested in the election of which the Awami League won 127 by default. 105-106, Hasina's Awami League won a safe parliamentary majority with a total of 234 seats. 107-108, as a result of the boycott and violence, voter turnout was lower than the previous few elections at only 51%. The day after the result, Hasina said that the boycott should not mean there will be a question of legitimacy. 
people participated in the poll and other parties participated. Despite the controversy Hasina went on to form a government with Ershad's Jataya party, who won 34 seats, as the official opposition. 111-112 Hasina with G7 leaders and guests, Shima Kanko Hotel in Japan, 2016. The election has been called an electoral farce, according to whom? 23, the BNP wanted the elections to be held under a neutral caretaker government and had hoped to use protests to force the government to do so. 113-114. In March 2017, Bangladesh's first two submarines were commissioned. 115, in September 2017, Hasina's government granted refuge and aid to around a million Rohingya refugees and urged Burma to end violence against the Rohingya community. 116, the majority of the Bangladeshi people supported the government's decision to provide refugee status to the Rohingya. Hasina received credit and praise for her actions. 117. Hasina supported calls to remove the Statue of Justice in front of the Supreme Court. This was seen as the government bowing down to the pressure of those who use religion for political ends. 118. Hasina is a patron of the Asian University for Women, led by Chancellor Sherry Blair, and including the First Lady of Japan, Akiabe, as well as Irina Bokova, the Director General of UNESCO. 119. Fourth Premiership, 2019 present. See also, Fourth Hasina Ministry. Hasina won her third consecutive term, her fourth overall, when her Awami League won 288 of the 300 parliamentary seats. The leader of the main opposition alliance, Kamal Hussein, declared the vote farcical and rejected the results. Before the election, Human Rights Watch and other rights organizations had accused the government of creating an intimidating environment for the opposition. 120. The New York Times editorial board described the election as farcical. The editorial stated that it was likely Hasina would have won without vote rigging and question why she did so. 121. The BNP the main opposition party that has been out of power for 12 years and boycotted the 2014 general election, fared extremely poorly. Bagging only eight seats, the party and its Jataya Oika Front Alliance have been marginalized to the weakest opposition ever since Bangladesh's post Hershad democratic restoration in 1991. 122. In May 2021, Hasina provided the inaugural address for the opening of a new headquarters for the Bangladesh Post Office, named the Dock Babin. In her address, Hasina urged for further development of the postal service in response to the COVID-19 pandemic in Bangladesh. Developmental measures outlined in the address include continuing the service's digital transformation, and the construction of cooling units in postal warehouses to pave the way for the sending of perishable food by mail. 123. Controversies The Padmo Bridge graft scandal was a political incident in Bangladesh that involved the ruling Awami League government that allegedly sought, in exchange for the awarding of the construction contract a large amount of money from the Canadian construction company SNC-Levelin. The allegations were subsequently found to be false and without merit, and a Canadian court subsequently dismissed the case. 124. As a result of the allegations, the World Bank pulled out of the project to provide funding for the Padma Bridge, citing corruption concerns cancelling 10,241.346 crore, 1.1 billion US dollars, of credit for the 6 kilometers long, 4 miles, road rail bridge over the Padma River. 125, one of the individuals implicated was Minister of Communications Said Abal Hussein who subsequently resigned and was later acquitted of any wrongdoing. 126, on July 11, 2012, BNP General Secretary Mirza Fakhrul Islam Alamgur said the Awami League government should make public a letter sent by the World Bank, wherein the bank brought graft charges against Hasina and three other figures. 127, on January 17, 2016, 
Hasina stated that a managing director of a bank in the United States provoked the World Bank to cancel the loan. 128. On January 24, 2017, in a speech in Parliament, Prime Minister Hasina blamed Mohammed Yunus for the World Bank's pulling out of the project. 129. According to her, Yunus lobbied with the former United States Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to persuade the World Bank to terminate the loan. 130. On February 10, 2017, a justice of the Superior Court of Ontario dismissed the bribery conspiracy case for lack of any evidence. 131. In 2018, Hasina's government passed the controversial Digital Security Act, 2018, under which any criticism deemed inappropriate by the government over the Internet or any other media could be punished by prison terms of various degrees. This was heavily criticized both domestically and internationally for suppressing people's freedom of speech, as well as undermining press freedom in Bangladesh. 132 133 134 135 136 Personal Life In 1968, Hasina married M. A. Waised My A. 1942-2009, a Bangladeshi physicist, writer, and chairman of the Bangladesh Atomic Energy Commission. 1-137, she has a son, Sajib Waised, and a daughter, Sma Waised. 1. Sma's father-in-law is a former Minister of Expatriates Welfare and Overseas Employment and Del GRD, Khandaker Mashraf Hussain. 138. Hasina's only living sibling, Sheikh Rehana, served as the advisor of Tunjapura Uphazila Unit Awami League in Gopalganj in 2017. 139. Throughout her political career, Sheikh Hasina has survived a total of 19 assassination attempts on her life. 140. Writings. Black and White 141. Democracy in Distress Demeaned Humanity 142 Sheikh Razel 143 We Came Here to Speak for the People 144 Sheikh Hasina on Developing International Relations 145 Living in Tears 146 147 148 Militarism vs. Democracy 149 Development for the Masses 150 Democracy Poverty Elimination and Peace 151 Endangered Democracy, Oppressed Humanity 152 People and Democracy 153 Can't Tolerate the Insults of Humanity 154 Why They Are Dumpster Diving 155 the Birth of Autocracy in Bangladesh 156 Sheikh Mujib in Bangladesh Parliament 157 Sheikh Mujib, My Father 158 Beyond the Green Field 159 Few Thoughts on Eradicating Poverty 160 161 Selected 100 Speeches 162 Selected Essay 163 The Quest for Vision 2021 to First Part 164 The Quest for Vision 2021 to Second Part 165 Muktadatta Sheikh Mujib, Bengali, Kama Preface 166 Honors Mother of Humanity by Channel 4 167 Planet 50 to 50 Champion by UN Women. 168. Agent of Change Award by Global Partnership Forum. 168. One of the Time 100 in 2018, where she was praised for accepting Rohingya refugees but criticized for stumbling badly on human rights and exhibiting a tendency toward authoritarianism by presiding over a government that uses extrajudicial killings and enforced disappearances to quash criticism and suppress political dissent. 169. 59th place on Forbes' list of 100 most powerful women in the world. 170. Degree of Doctor of Law by the Boston University on February 6, 1997. 
171. Honorary Doctor of Law by the Waseda University 172, of Japan on July 4, 1997. Honorary Doctorate of Philosophy in Liberal Arts by the University of Aberté Dundee on October 25, 1997. 171. The Felix Hofu at Boine Peace Prize by the UNESCO for 1998. 173 174. Mother Teresa Award by the All India Peace Council in 1998. 171. M.K. Gandhi Award for 1998 by the Mahatma M.K. Gandhi Foundation of Oslo, Norway. 171. Awarded Medal of Distinction in 1996-97 and 1998-99 and Head of State Medal in 1996-97 by the Lions Clubs International. 175. Honorary Degree of Desikatama, Doctor of Literature, Honoris Causa by the Visva Bharati University of West Bengal, India on January 28, 1999. 171-176. The Sears Medal 177-178, by the Food and Agriculture Organization for 1999. 171-179. Doctor of Law 180, Honoris Causa by the Australian National University on October 20, 1999. 171. Honorary Doctor of Law by the University of Dhaka 181, on December 18, 1999. 171. Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters by University of Bridgeport on September 5, 2000. 171. The Pearl S. Buck Award 182 by the Randolph College on April 9, 2000. 171. Named Paul Harris Fellow by the Rotary Foundation. 171. Indira Gandhi Prize for 2009. 183-184. Doctor of Literature, Honoris Causa, by the Tripura University in January 2012. 185 186 187 188 UNESCO Peace Tree Award for her commitment to women's empowerment and girls education in 2014 189 UN Environment Prize for Leadership on Climate Change 190 Doctor of the University Honorary by the Sher E. Bangla Agricultural University on November 16, 2015. 191. Doctor of Letters, Honorary, by the Kazi Nazrel University, West Bengal, India on May 26, 2018. 192 193. Recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award, Champions of the Earth, in 2015. 194. In popular culture. In 2018, Husina appears in the title role in a docudrama Husina, a daughter's tale, directed by Razor Raman Khan Pitlu. 195 196. On February 1, 2021, Husina was referred in Al Jazeera's 64 minute documentary All the Prime Minister's Men, 